Hi. So where I left off, we had this equation for kinetic energy, uh, where it's the definite integral of velocity with respect to momentum. However, in relativistic um, physics, we have a new equation for momentum mv, where it's m naught v over the square root of one minus v squared of c squared, because mass can change with velocity. So we write that again. Okay, we substitute it. as from a to b v d m naught v over the square root 1 minus v squared over c squared okay and now we have to use integration by parts so let's take out this uh, uh, this uh, the, the, the from a to b that makes it a, a definite integral and we will focus on that uh, once we done the actual anti-differentiation. So let's do it now. So we know this is from A to B of this anti-differentiation. Okay? So by integration by parts we get V times M naught V over the square root of 1 minus V squared of C squared gives us M naught V squared over the square root of 1 minus V squared over C squared minus the integral whoops what's that? the integral of m naught v over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared with respect to velocity, okay? Alright, now I am just going to write this um, like this. Um, I'm just going to rewrite this in a different form so that it's easier for us to integrate. So again we get this is m naught v squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared minus, we're going to take the m naught out, the integral of v times 1 minus v squared over c squared to the negative 1 half dv, okay? Because this square root, the over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared is just uh, 1 minus v squared over c squared to the negative 1 half, alright? Now we're going to do a little bit of u substitution, alright? We're going to say that u, um, I'm going to write this over here in this little box. u equals 1 minus v squared over c squared, and du equals negative 2v over c squared dv. Sorry if you can't see this, um, I'll just talk it out. Um, and then we re, uh, when we rearrange, we divide by the negative 2v over c squared to get dv by itself. And we get negative c squared over 2v du equals dv. Okay? Let's see if you can see that. Uh, you can't really see that, but I'll substitute it in a little bit later and you'll see it better. So when I substitute that in now, actually, I get equals m naught v squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared minus the integral or m naught times the integral of v times u to the negative 1 half I substituted in 1 minus v squared c squared um, for u and I just put the negative uh, 1 half power in the parentheses because this is just one variable uh, multiplied by when I substitute dv, I get negative c squared over 2v du. Alright? Now these v's are going to cancel. I'm going to get equals m naught v squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared minus m naught times the. No, so. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this negative c squared over. 2, which becomes plus m naught c squared over 2 times the integral of u to the negative 1 half du. Alright? Now it's much easier to integrate. I get m naught v squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared plus, okay? When I integrate this, I get m naught c squared over 2 times the integral 
of u to the negative one half du becomes u to the one half divided by one half becomes multiplied by two, and these two cancel. And we get finally, if we write it down here, m naught v squared over the square root of one minus v squared over c squared plus m naught c squared and u to the one half simply becomes the square root of one minus v squared over c squared. Okay? There we go. And I'll just erase this. Alright, so let's see where we are. Alright. <clears throat> and now, um, we are going to, what we're going to do with this equation right here, remember it's still from A to B, is we are going to um, rationalize the denominator, or not rationalize the denominator, we're going to set common denominators so that we can add them. We're going to multiply this by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared multiplying by 1 just to get an de uh, equal denominator for both of them. So we get, um, sorry, I'm going to use a uh, different color marker because this is gonna, getting a little bit difficult to hide. Uh, it's getting a little bit difficult to see. So let's use this, green, okay? So we get m naught v squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, okay? Plus, when I multiply this out, I get m naught c squared. This square root times this square root just simply becomes 1 minus v squared over c squared, okay? Divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, okay? Hope you guys can see that. Let me see if... Yep, that looks fine. Okay, so what happens now? All right, well, I'm just going to put this, put this all together and I get m naught v squared plus, when I multiply this out, m naught c squared minus m naught c squared multiplied by v squared over c squared. The c squareds cancel and I get m naught v squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, okay? Let me just rewrite this from A to B in green. A to B, okay? And then these two cancel, this m naught v squared minus m naught v squared cancel, and you get an equation like this. That this integral right here gives you from a to b m naught c squared over the square root of 1 minus b squared over c squared. Alright, and in this case, what this a and what this b are going to be um, are going to be velocities, because that's what's going to change here. Rest mass doesn't change, c squared doesn't change, but only velocity changes. And we are going to make it from um, rest velocity of 0 to final velocity of v. So this uh, definite integral now becomes m naught c squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared minus m naught, and I substitute this v squared over here, c squared over the square root of 1 minus 0 squared over c squared this becomes 1 minus 0, what square root of 1 is 1, and we simply get that kinetic energy, let me write it down here, kinetic energy equals m naught c squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared minus m naught c squared. Alright? Now this was the equation that led to Einstein deriving um, equals mc squared. 
Because what this means is that, um, let's think of a, of a point particle, okay? We have a point particle that um, uh, gets, say, say we have an electron, all right, that gets struck by a photon. And the electron now uh, absorbs the photon, we know this from, from chemistry and physics, absorbs the photon and begins to move very quickly. Well, what does that mean? Um, that means that all of the energy in the, or, or this newfound energy that the electron has is kinetic energy, okay? Um, or, or it's, um, it's, it's, yeah, so it's newfound energy, the energy that it gained from the photon is uh, transferred into kinetic energy for the electron to move, all right? And now let's look at this equation. We have some energy value minus another energy value, okay? to get kinetic energy. When the velocity is zero, this just becomes m naught c squared minus m naught c squared, and we get um, simply uh, zero for kinetic energy. So what this equation is basically saying is we have a, uh, well, when, when that electron gets struck by the photon, its velocity changes and it gains some energy. Basically what, what this equation again is saying is that you're doing some energy value minus another energy value. What you're doing is the um, is the, the particle's total energy minus its rest energy, it gives you its kinetic energy. Think about it this way. If, um, you, if the uh, electron um, gains energy from this photon, all right, and starts to move quickly at a faster velocity, it's now going to have a new mass based on uh, the equation. We have m equals m naught over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. It's going to have a new mass um, because its velocity is now increased. Where did this mass come from? Well, the answer is that the energy that the photon transferred to the electron is not just energy, but it's also mass. Energy and mass are the same thing. So looking at this equation, we have final energy minus initial energy, okay? So kinetic energy equals, or not final minus initial, let's say, total energy minus rest energy, okay? This is ET minus E naught, all right? So Einstein simply got rid of this part of the equation and just said that the total energy of an object equals its rest mass times the speed of light squared divided by the square root of 1 minus V squared over C squared, all right? that the overall energy of a particle, or anything, equals its rest mass times v light squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. We know, however, that m naught over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared is simply an object's apparent mass times the speed of light squared. And this is how Einstein got his equation for E equals mc squared. Okay? Um, and like I described before, the relationship to energy and mass are actually the same thing is that if that photon strikes that electron, the electron starts to speed up, the electron will now have uh, not only energy, but it will also gain mass based on this relationship right here. All right? Where did that mass come from? It didn't come from the photon, because the photon has no mass, but the energy that the photon was carrying has an equivalent mass that seems to be gained by the electron as it accelerates, or not as it accelerates, but as it travels at a new velocity. So as, um, so in this respect, we can see that energy and mass are the same thing, and they're related by E equals mc squared. If uh, the photon struck the electron, and it, um, it gained a certain amount of energy, you divide that energy by the speed of light squared, and you would get the apparent mass that the electron seemed to have gained. Similarly, if you know the apparent mass that it was gained, you multiply it, that it had gained, you multiply it by the speed of light squared, and you get the energy that it must have gained from that collision. And this is Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared. Thank you very much.